An electrical failure occurred in one of the space stations of the Soviet Union, resulting in a loss of contact with its ground station on Earth. Fortunately, no space crew was present at that moment in the space station named Salyut 7. However, the space station became uncontrollable and slipped out of orbit due to a power failure. This presented the most complex problem ever faced by the Soviet Space Agency. An out-of-control space station hurtling at a speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour was nothing short of a ticking time bomb. The Soviets made numerous attempts to regain control, but all efforts proved futile. Then, an unexpected turn of events transpired, leading to a moment of triumph and pride for the Soviet Union. During the Cold War between the Soviet Union and America, both nations engaged in a power struggle. This display of power while consuming billions of dollars also led to significant innovations such as the internet, advanced aircraft, and the global positioning system. The war between the two superpowers initiated a space race characterized by numerous missions launched in the 1970s to explore various aspects of space. The Soviets named their space stations Salyut, while the U.S. referred to theirs as Skylab. These missions were relatively small in scale, spending limited time in space before being called back after completing their research. The beef between both countries was so intense that even the terminology used for space exploration became a point of contention. The Americans referred to their space travelers as astronauts, while the Soviets deliberately chose to use the term cosmonauts for their space crew. To teach U.S. a lesson, the Soviet Union made a strategic decision. Instead of continuing with miniature space missions, they embarked on the ambitious project of building a full-fledged space station, which they named the Mir Space Station. However, the launch of the Mir Space Station faced delays attributed to various technical issues. Meanwhile, the Salyut 6 mission had already completed its designated time in space. The Soviets launched the Salyut 7 mission to maintain their presence in space. Notably, Salyut 7 had docking ports at its top and bottom, allowing other spacecraft to attach for crew circulation and supplies delivery simultaneously. Launched in April 1982 through a Proton rocket, the crew was sent to Salyut 7 on May 13, setting a new world record by spending 211 days in space. The crew's task was to launch an 18 kilo radio satellite into space using the trash airlock system of Salyut 7. This marked the first communication satellite launched from any manned space vehicle. While the first year of Salyut 7 was successful, technical errors began to emerge. On September 9, 1983, cosmonauts discovered zero pressure in one of the fuel tanks, indicating complete emptiness. Troubleshooting revealed a leakage, and to prevent further damage, the cosmonauts needed to seal the leak. Unfortunately, they lacked some necessary tools for this critical task. In response, a supply mission with the required tools and an extra space crew was launched from the ground station. The repair involving cold welding the tank outside the space station was considered highly complex and impressive. However, more challenges awaited. In 1984, cosmonauts put Salyut 7 on autopilot and returned to Earth via a Soyuz spacecraft, leaving the space station remotely controlled by the ground station. On February 11, 1985, the ground team lost contact with Salyut 7 due to an electrical surge. Despite efforts to reconnect using the secondary communication system, another surge occurred, causing a loss of all connections. Additionally, the space station slipped out of orbit, becoming a 16-meter-long uncontrolled object hurtling at 27,000 kilometers per hour. Seizing an opportunity, the U.S. aimed to connect Salyut 7 to their cargo bay shuttle and bring it back to Earth for global acclaim. The Soviet Union, capable of the operation, faced a setback as their Buran shuttle was under maintenance. To prevent the U.S. from claiming the space station, the Soviets sent a crew of two cosmonauts on June 6, 1985, to manually identify and fix the error. The mission required precision, as manually docking with Salyut 7 could be perilous. 
After two days of orbit, the crew found the space station with misaligned solar panels, indicating a complete loss of power. After aligning their spacecraft, the crew successfully docked with Salyut 7. Upon opening the hatch, they discovered an extremely cold interior due to the heating system being powered off. The temperature inside Salyut 7 was minus 150 degrees Celsius, and troubleshooting revealed a sensor failure connected to the batteries, preventing them from overcharging. This failure led to the collapse of the entire space station. After changing the sensor and correcting the solar panel's direction, Salyut 7 came back to life and remained in space for the next year. Despite the launch of the larger MIR space station, the Soviets decided to keep Salyut 7 in orbit. However, funding issues after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 led to the neglect of Salyut 7, and one day it scattered into pieces above South America. What's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments sections. Thanks for watching.